I have a story here coming out of Florida that really made an impact on me when I was reading about it last night. So NPR explains here, prosecutors in Miami-Dade County said they found no evidence of a crime in the death of a prison inmate who was left for two hours in a hot shower. Four years after Darren Rainey died at the Dade Correctional Institute, the state's investigation found that the corrections officers who locked Rainey in the shower committed no crime. Miami-Dade's prosecutor opted not to charge any of the officers, finding that the evidence does not show that Rainey's well-being was grossly disregarded by the correctional staff. <laughs> the state's medical examiner found that Rainey's death was an accident resulting from his schizophrenia, heart disease, and being confined in, in the shower. Quote, it is not substantiated that temperatures inside the shower room were excessively high, she wrote. But... The investigation's findings are disputed, as the Associated Press reports. Several witnesses said that Rainey's skin appeared to be peeled back and reddish in spots, with one inmate claiming that Rainey looked like a boiled lobster. Wow. Now, they go on to mention that the nurse at the correctional facility, uh, when she saw him after this incident, she says his body was too hot to even take a temperature. She, various witnesses say his skin was melting off. His skin was melting off of his body. So you have direct eyewitness reports from when it happened. Unanimous. They say they heard him screaming for help and apologizing for the first hour he was in the shower. And they, didn't, they never unlocked it. They never let him out. He was screaming for an hour. And he was in there for two hours total, and he died. His skin was melting off of his body. They basically boiled the guy alive, is what they did. And they say, nope, nothing to see here. No crime. Wait, 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 hold the fuck on. Even if, let's say, and this is being way too kind, and I don't believe this for a second, but let's be super kind to them for a second and say, it was a total accident. Yeah. Okay, how does an accident like that even happen? The guy screaming for an hour, nobody heard him? Nobody heard him and nobody opened, opened the door? So I, I don't believe that for a second. But if, oh my God, it was a total accident and they were all asleep and they were all in the other room where they couldn't hear his screams and blah, 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 blah. Even then, isn't it a crime? Because it's negligence. The guy died as a result of your negligence. You weren't paying attention. You weren't doing your job. You weren't monitoring the inmates. You left him in a boiling hot shower for two hours, and he died. And even if you say it wasn't because of the shower he died, it was what happened that the shower triggered in him with the heart issue, blah, 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 blah. Still negligence. No matter how you slice it or dice it, negligence through and through. So whether we're talking about a, a lower classification of manslaughter or we're talking about murder, you can argue as to what the charge can and should be based on the facts. But here's what can't be argued, that there was no uh, wrongdoing. There was obviously wrongdoing, intentional or not intentional. <laughs> I mean, this is a slap in the face. You want to talk about a conspiracy? Here's a conspiracy. This is a conspiracy of the prison guards to cover their own fucking ass, and they got people in the government to cover their ass for them. Oh, man, this is... They, they fucking killed this poor guy. Hey, by the way... You ready for why he was in there? Who cares? The guy's a murderer. He had what was coming to him. He was serving two years for a cocaine charge. He's a nonviolent drug offender. He's a nonviolent drug offender. He was boiled alive in the shower. They say the temperature was between 160 degrees and 180 degrees. His skin melted off his body and he died. You, they knew about it. Of course they knew about it. They they literally control the temperature in the shower from outside. There's a room outside where they control the temperature of the shower. Like a control room. So let me get this straight. He was screaming for the first hour, but somehow you didn't hear him when you turned on the controls? That makes absolutely no sense. What, you turn it on, then leave, and then, oh, everybody else managed to hear him screaming. And you say, no, the, the hot water didn't even, it wasn't even an issue. There's no evidence of uh, excessively high, uh, you know, temperature in the water. The fucking nurse said that it was too hot to even take the temperature, and his skin was melting off his body. That happened right at the time. They're just lying. 
look, there needs to be hell to pay. Fire fucking everybody. I'd fire everybody. If they're not gonna, gonna prosecute here, first of all, the federal government needs to get involved. They have to. There's gotta be a special prosecutor, because there's obviously foul play going on, and people know people, and okay, I'm gonna cut a deal, and you're gonna get out with this, and even though you committed murder or manslaughter, it's fine. Federal government needs to get involved, but you gotta fucking fire everybody, too. Because these are cold-blooded killers. Well, cold-blooded is, it's hot-blooded is the right word for it. Uh, unbelievable, man. This is 2017 in the United States of America. We have a person in... He shouldn't even be in jail. Shouldn't be in prison. For a non-violent drug charge? That's not a fucking crime in my book. A non-violent drug charge. So you didn't hurt anybody or do anything wrong. You just decided to have a substance and tweak your consciousness. Piss off. He shouldn't even been in there in the first place. But he was in there. And then when he was in there, he gets treated like this. Fucking skin melts off. They kill the guy. Boil him alive in a hot shower for two hours. Us? We didn't do anything wrong. If you're going to be fucking vicious murderers and treat human beings like that, Human beings who aren't even bad people, he's just a drug charge. Well, then you should be locked up, because you're the real criminals. He ain't the real criminal. He's an innocent victim here. You're the real fucking criminals, and you know you are.